what is up everyone and today we have a little bit of different content for you guys i'm back playing some balloons chibi battles one and we have a really good king of the hill series actually some really intense games in here so this is actually gonna be a really good one so i hope you guys enjoy um and make sure to comment down below if you like the battles one content because might be making some videos here but yes sir we get 80 medallions i'll catch you in the series let's get it guys yo what is up everyone it's your boy your dog and your homie ryan mahalik and today we are doing some balloons to battles one actually um send some king of the hill versus diego it's the best of five starting map is blast populous and i'm gonna try out i'll try out ninja ace today we're we'll see how this goes i haven't gone this slowdown in freaking forever boys so this should be a fun one it should be a fun one indeed and yeah let's get it so um our goal here is probably gonna be get, get a bia I'm curious as to what he'll go. I'm guessing DFA. Um, I know it's got like slow DFA a lot, but we'll just have to wait and see. And if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, enjoy the Battles 1 content. Um, there is a big tournament going on in King of the Hill in about less than a month. It's at the end of January, so I'm really excited for that. I need to start training for that a little bit, getting better at Battles 1 again. But yeah, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe, dude. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, and I would appreciate that a lot. In all honesty, I would appreciate that a hell of a lot. So yeah, let's get it. So... Um, start with my ninja right there. Shock team out question mark. So I think he's actually going. He's going heli here. Definitely going heli. If they haven't placed anything yet. So I thought they were going dart, but they're going heli. So that's interesting. Um, could be heli glue. Could be heli village. Could be heli, um, mortar. Actually, I've seen heli mortar a few times. Or it could be heli ice. Who knows? <laughs> Honestly, it could be any of them. Um, you can't really tell off the rip. So. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, I think we should take try taking this lead. And I also think that he is probably putting me on Ninja Ace here. So this will be interesting. We find out I have Mortar. This will be quite interesting. Um, all right. We should get the double shot up. One banana. There we go. Uh, let's turn it to first now and get the Seeking Shuriken. I'm going to leak some, but not too much thankfully that's manageable it's manageable at least we'll definitely send black balloons next round to force some defense maybe maybe we'll see a third tower maybe we'll just upgrade to a quad darts we'll have to wait and see but the good thing about my loadout is it has an extreme amount of stall so you have um all the ninja stalls obviously the sabo and then the thing is you put all your ninjas in strong and since you have mortar stall you can pretty much Stole under the OMG layers indefinitely, basically. So the stole with this loadout's actually absolutely nuts late game. So that should help us out a lot here. So he ended up going for the quad darts, by the way. So leads me to believe he doesn't have ice or mortar. Well, actually, I guess if he had mortar, you might go for the quad darts, but probably not ice. Uh, shock demote here, three, two, one on his end. When he sees the mortar. No, no shock demote. I guess he kind of expected it. Interesting. Put this on strong, actually. The, you can put your ninja on strong here, and the reason is um the first shot like will target the strongest balloon, but then the seeking shuriken will actually seek towards the first balloon. So um it's actually best that's actually a very good targeting with it. Because uh, you'll still pop like the black layers and stuff with the um seeking with the strong targeting, but then it'll just pick up leaks as well. So it's pretty solid. Pretty solid there. Now, question is, do I go for a, um, hmm, I might end up going for a, actually, no. I was thinking about going for a flash bomb for camel leads, but I think on this map I shouldn't. And he's going village here. Okay, interesting. They are going village. So we have an insane stall, which will help a lot late game here against them. And they are going to be playing pretty passive, I'd assume. So that's also going to help us out. But yeah. Basically, what our plan is, we'll probably like all out them with tons of ZMGs, like round 35 or something, and we'll just, whenever they just counter us, we can just stall it, or we can counter them. Same thing, pretty much. You get what I'm saying. We should be fine there. Yeah. If he re-rushes, I can get up a Sabo, or a, what's it called? A, um, Flash Bomb. I actually think I can BI this round. So, his problem was he rushed at the very start of round 14 there, and I'll have my boost back in time. So, I'm actually going to be able to get round 14 BI here, which is fantastic. 
No problems there. I think I might be fine against this. Boost. Oh my lord. That was actually way too close. I don't know if I need to boost that, in all honesty. I'm unsure. That's worth the boost on their end. Okay, we forced a boost. Nice. Nice. Love to do that. I only have one boost left, but again, I don't think boosts are honestly that important with our loadout. It's mostly just a stall, which is good for our loadout. I think now we save up for my flash bomb. That'll help out a ton. Am I dead? Oh! Oh, look at the targeting. Look at the targeting, guys. I'm not even scared, guys. Not even freaking scared there. Oh my gosh, I'm goaded. I'm freaking goaded with the ninja mortar. That's what you like to see right there. All right, he's sending me a Moab. Um, I can just boost this. I'd rather boost, actually, do I cash out? Yeah, I'll cash out. No way. Dude, the distraction did nothing. I had two distractions. That's gotta be the most annoying way for the game to end, dude. Distraction literally <laughs> blew back nothing, dude. I don't understand. I really don't understand. All right, so map is dread here. Um, We'll try Darling Ice, we'll try Darling Ice. I haven't gone this strategy in a while, so this should be fun here. We'll see what Diego goes here. Maybe they go in a fee. Wizville, who knows, who knows. Let's hope they don't anti-stall round one. All right, good start. Good thing they didn't anti-stall round one. It's always best. Um, if we can get these rounds to be long so we can farms here. But yeah, dude. Literally, I had, like normally one jitsu would distract pretty well. But I had a jitsu and a double shot. And like one ceramic out of four got distracted. That was so stupid. That's probably the most unlucky thing ever. Most unlucky thing ever. One more banana. Thank you. Place that. Guessing he's gonna go heli here in a bit. Yep, he's going heli, okay. So we just want an early BI. It's gonna be the goal here. Early freaking BI. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So he's sending me a lot of rides here. Definitely smart. He's gonna make it so I have to get up my powerful darts before I get my plantation. Good move on their end. Gonna wait as long as possible to get my powerful darts up though. There we go. Get it up. And I should get my farm here in a second. Beautiful. Get my plantation rolling. And again, we want to stall rounds. Stalling rounds is going to be our friend here. If we can get round 14 BI, we should be in a fantastic position. Round 15 BI is going to be a little bit worse, but... Uh, that could probably, that's probably a toss up. So I think they now realize that I might be going Darling Ice and they're running an anti stall, which I can break their anti stall by just sending some spaced blocks pretty hard. Because I'm guessing they're going to go for an ice here against these. Yeah, this will break their anti stall. This is, that's the goal with these. Get back to stall on the rounds. <clears throat> and it seems to be working pretty well because as you can see his heli's at the very bottom now which is exactly what we want exactly what we want lads i think i can go for this and still get up my ice in time come on come on wait let me get the snap freeze there we go beautiful He's saying nice, I wonder why. All right, we're Gucci. We're Gucci there. So second ice will pretty much just go right here. Pretty simple stuff. 
Um, but we don't need really second ice at any point right now. I think I actually just save up for a Republic right now. As weird as that sounds, I think this is the move. Should give me some good income once I get the Republic up. I think this is the move right here, lads. There we go. Republic has been acquired. Let's go for a second dartling right there in case you send me white balloons. I'll just get double ice as well. Uh, let's get the permafrost one. This should defend. Yeah, this defends pretty well. Beautiful. It's double Republic. Nice. Let's get the Plutonium. Should be getting some really solid income now from both these. And on pace for around 14 BI, hopefully. He sends me a zebra rush here, I just need to be ready. Spike the back, just add some lives there. Do I go for the farm here? Okay, he's sending me a rush. Oh my lord. Dude, so many region rainbows, like what the heck is that rush? Such a choke rush, am I right? All right, we got up our round 15 BI. He gets up his on round 16, it looks like. And I can still rush them on my balloon boost. And this will force a boost, I hope. I guess not. Never mind. I don't think that was in the balloon boost, in all honesty. I think the balloon boost wore off, unfortunately. But we still got a BI before him, with a solid eco as well. So I think we're in a decent position. Definitely unfortunate that we didn't get the round um, 14 BI, but he had to send me regrow rainbows, so it's like, you know. And we have three boosts as well, which is actually pretty solid. If he sends me Moab, I'm probably going to go for ice shards. Right, he's just sending Balloon Rush. I think I'll still go for nice shards. That'll help out for a BFB Rush if he ever sends one. I don't think we'll send a BFB. No, that's not the move. I don't. We shouldn't send a BFB. I don't think I need to, I'm not going to need to cash out against his BFB send as well. That's going to be something I need to focus on. Not cashing out against the BFB. We want to defend very efficiently. And I'm I'm okay using a boost. Like, I don't need three boosts for late game or anything. So, we can boost against the BFB pretty safely. I think so, at least. Stole around. Beautiful. 10,000 in there. Is he going to send one? He is. Doll that. Get up you right there. And we'll go for more farms. This should be more than enough on boost. Yeah, we're Gucci. doing good with my farms now i wonder if they'll send me an early zmg that's, that'll be interesting if they do
Okay, three um, BIAs on round 22. That's great. Still two boosts as well, so we're good there. So I think they are going to send a ZMG based off the fact that they sold their... Um, they sold their... What's it called? BIA. So what I'm going to do against the ZMG is I'll use the Ice Stall after we pop the ZMG layer. I just need to spam Dartlings to pop the ZMG layer super fast if they send one. And then I'll use an Ice Stall. It's going to be the plan there. We have to be very um, cautious here against the ZMG. It's going to be a hard defend, but we'll try our best. I'm not going to farm until, if he goes for another fact, I'll go for another BI, but if not, I'm just going to save the money. I do think they're sending a ZMG. No, they went for another fact, okay. Let's go for another BI. I guess I should have went for a BI earlier, but it's okay. They're going to be sending me a ZMG now, I think. I'd imagine that would make the most sense to me. Yep, it, there it is. Okay. So, all right, let's go for more dartlings. All we'll pop in the ZMG layer. Uh, none of these should be out. I, I hope I don't have to cash out anything is going to be the goal here. I really don't want to cash out stuff. You can actually spam zero zero dartlings and do um, damage to ZMG the same with those. So that's what I'm going to do for now. That's boost. We should be fine here. Yeah, we're Gucci. Good defend, good defend. I don't know if I needed a boost there. Um, I might have had, I might have been able to cash out and spend a little bit more on defense and not boost, but I think that was still a good defend nonetheless. Can I not? I can't place one up there, unfortunate. Cash you out. Cash me outside. How about that? Is he sending me another one? He is. Oh, God. Hawk up. All is good in the hood. Any more of these need cashed out? You do. Let's actually go for you. Since it's at this since it's later in the game now. I think it's probably best to go for a fact. As weird as that sounds. With Dartling Ice. Oh crap, this is actually getting really far. Um stall. I should have just used this earlier. It's actually really bad. Let's cash you out. Let's go for a balloon denial system. We should be fine here. Yeah, we're totally fine. Okay. That was kind of scary. Not going to lie. But we're Gucci. We're Gucci at the end of the day.
All right, keep spamming these everywhere. Any of these need cashed out? Kind of. Go for a Ray of Doom in game. Because I do have the Ray of Doom out of game. Keep spamming these everywhere. I think I'll rush him next round, maybe. I don't know yet when I'll rush. I think we're in a good position, though. I think we're in a good position here. Any of these need cashed out soon? Yeah, some of them do. We still have a boost as well, which is great. Cash you out, cash you out, cash you, cash you, cash you. Start sending him. We have a stall, so it's not like they can counter me and be good. I think we're going to be in a... Good position here, hopefully. Oh, it's going to be kind of scary. I better defend these UMGs. If I don't, this is GG's, bro. I wish I had another boost. Come on, defend, defend. We're defending so far. Oh, so it looks bad for me. Don't pop anymore. Don't pop anymore. Don't pop that ZMG. No, I popped it, bro. Oh, my Lord. I can't believe I popped it. I lost, probably, because I popped that one. I shouldn't have popped as EMG, bro. Let's go! Let's go, buddy! I'll catch y'all in the next game. Alright, so this map was offside. I'm gonna go Heli Ice here. Dude, that game was literally so close. I. Oh. I definitely could have played better. I. I made a few mistakes in the fact that I um, popped that ZMG. I, maybe I should have saved another boost for late game as well. I don't know. But yeah. Heli Ice here on offside. I'm guessing he's going to go Wiz Village. I know this guy likes to go Wiz Village a lot on this map. So this will be an interesting one. We basically... Um, we'll have the stall advantage this game if they have Wiz Village. Which is nice. Unless they're going heli again. That could also be a thing. No, they're going with Soka. 
And they actually went for their fireball off the rip. I don't agree with that play. Um, just makes it where you get your you basically get up your plantation one income boost later now. Because um, now you spent $250 more on your Wiz. And you still have to get the lightning up for pinks. So, I mean, it saves a few leaks early game getting the fireball up. But I don't think it's worth. In my opinion. Do not think it's worth there. Okay, we forced that. I should probably also anti-stall here. I should have been doing that earlier. I think anti-stalling is going to be beneficial against Wizville. I do. Pop these balloons as soon as possible. Um, let's think. So round six rolls around. He's probably not going to send me too many black balloons because he has Vill Wiz Village. So, I'm going to try to greet somewhat and knock it up a snap freeze. Also, no point to send them blacks because they already have the fireball on the wizard. But, yeah. Alright, now get up snap freeze. He sent a lot, so... We made them send a lot of black balloons, which is good for us. The more they send, the less likely they have a chance of getting their early BIA. So that's the goal there. I don't know why they're still sending. Interesting. Just get my double ice up for white balloons if he sends them. It looks like they are. This heli spot should be pretty good here against whites. So let's just farm on. Farm on. Okay, our farms are good. Now we get up heli upgrades. Send them some regions. Try to force the second lightning. Okay, we did that. Beautiful. Get up our rotors. Okay, we're doing good so far. I think. Now, we don't want them to get around 14 BI, obviously. Um... So let's send a small rush. Force some defense here. Okay, we forced a fireball. It's decent, I guess. I should have sent a smaller rush. I don't know if I'll be able to get my farm now. Okay, now we ended up getting our BI. That's good. Okay. I'm happy with round 15 BIs all around. I think that's a good position for me to be in. I don't know if I need to sell my ice there, by the way. I just did that to be safe for my BI. But I don't know if that was necessary. And I, def I think we also got our BI with more um, eco than him, I would imagine. But actually, they sent a lot of white balloons and blacks, so it could not I could be wrong. Let's get up another rotors, just to be safe. My question is, do I send a BFB? Um, hmm. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know if a BFB is a good send here. What are we thinking, lads? Am, I'm not sure if it would force a cash out's a thing. I'll balloon boost it. I think it'll force a cash out. 
That's the goal. If he ends up boosting and not cashing out, that's bad for me. Because he still has three boosts. So, I mean, two boosts left is not a bad position. But I don't think they'll be able to defend this without cashing out. Oh, yeah, they definitely cashed out there. 100%. Okay. And they are sending me one. I am going to wait until next round to cash out. Oh, my lord. Let's use you in the round, please. Why is the round not ending, bro? What the heck? Oh my lord. That was actually bad. I don't know why the round didn't end. That was kind of bad. Not gonna lie there. Um, alright. I'm kind of far off getting another factor, a factory, so I'm gonna go for another BIA. Off of this. But yeah, I definitely should have just cashed out my BIA one round earlier there. I thought round 20 would end, but it never just it never did. It never did. I don't think we send them anything else here until later, late game. I don't think so. Should be able to get my second fac up here. I mean, he's an out-farm me, which is expected. Um, He doesn't have to spend money on an Apache. And they have the village to make upgrades cheaper. But, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Also, did I, wait, I boosted against that BFB. I'm not sure if I needed to. I probably did. The mobs were so far on the screen, even though they were stalled. I, I don't know. That was just such an ugly BFB defend. Because I was trying to wait to cash out, which was bad play. <clears throat> Should we go get this Republic up here? And oh, let's also send them a rush here. Zebras. They might have to boost or they're dead. Does that defend? Oh, I guess it does. Wow. I thought we would have pushed through. In all honesty. I thought we were going to push through that. Like we're pushing a baby out. Okay, we forced a boost there. Nice. So he's down to one boost now. Which is... Actually, no, they aren't down to one boost. I don't think they boosted against the BFB, did they? I don't remember now. If they boosted against BFB. Oh, I should have been keeping track. I should have kept track. I have totally forgot. I have totally forgotten. It's okay. So we definitely have an eco lead. There's no doubt about that. I've ecoed a lot more than them, and I kept up two BIs a long time. So that's one thing we got going for us. I think we're in a decent position. Even though it's out farming, I think that's kind of expected here. Um, I still think we're in a decent position. Especially with the fact that this is a shorter map, so this village isn't going to be able to defend us late. Another fac. Haha, <laughs> you had to get up a Tempest there. So we wasted a little bit of money. I uh, saw this BI after next round. Gotten me a lot of income. Eco, I mean. Well, I guess that's the same type of thing. Income, eco. What's the difference? Uh, let's target you. Let's not die to AI, please. Thank you.
All right, we're vibing. Can I fit you? I really can't. Um, let's sell you and place you a little bit lower, I guess. But yeah, I don't. I'm just gonna send a giant all out later, after they start sending me. It's the goal. Go for another. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh my lord, dude, I'm so bad at this game. I literally had to boost that. That's so stupid. I don't... I thought the ice shards would have just killed the Moabs, but it never did. Oh, that's so annoying. It's very irritating. Okay, looks like he's getting ready for defenses. The later he takes it, the better it is for me. Really. The later he waits to rush, the better it is for me. Because that just means I can... um, I can... What's it called? I stole encounter and be fine. Well, I stole encounter and have less of, less of a chance of defending. I'm guessing they're going to send next round. Are they sending? No. Wow. They're, they're playing into my hand. Mr. Diego's playing into my hands, dude. Waiting and waiting. I'm telling you. All right, let's counter. I'm not even going to plan on defending many of these. I don't need to defend very many. Keep sending. He's still sending me for some reason. All right, they're sending BFBs on top. I think they're gonna die here. We just need to keep stalling the rounds, basically. Is the goal. Yeah, they're dead. There's no shot. There's, there's no shot, you're leaking. GG's, I'll catch y'all next one. All right, losing map for him is Water Resort. So I think I've got a separate, different loadout every single game here if i remember correctly um so i do want to continue that and i will go dfa on waddle actually i could go boat mortar actually i could try aggro boat mortar hmm, that would be interesting um should i try that i feel like i'd probably get stomped by some strategies but we'll try it i haven't gone this in a while on waddle i used to go this all the time it's kind of fun um it's kind of fun so let's see how this goes Okay, he's going NG. So this will be interesting. Um, against NG SPAC, what you actually do, it's really weird gameplay. What you actually do is um, you greed for an early um, factory or BIA, and then you drain them with BFBs. You just drain them with a bunch of BFBs. It's going to be the goal here, so. Yeah. Because their strategy actually outlasts you on this map. As crazy as that is. I guess you could also take it late and then just all out them round 30 and um, outstall them because you have more stall. So I guess we have two gameplays we can do against Sinji back here. Two game, pl two game plans. All right, let's get our um, Grape Shate up. We do want to send Pinks here. Uh, so many forces centuries. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I can, I will be playing somewhat passive this game, by the way. So um, we do want to get a BI and basically use an out farm to our advantage this game. 
Because they have to spend a lot of money on a balloon trap and that type of stuff. Well, we don't. Okay, he ended up selling an engineer for that. That's totally fine. Let's force an upgrade on that. We did. Beautiful. I can also force another engineer, I think, with um, black balloons. We'll balloon boost them. Is he going to send me blacks? Doesn't appear so, so I'm just going to go for farm. Cool, cool, cool. We force another energy. Looks like they're playing full passive here. Interesting. Interesting. I guess it makes sense. Because they technically outlast Boat Mortar on this map for sure. Let's get up the faster firing. Uh, do we go for another buck? Actually, no, they stopped sending. Okay. They didn't send very much. Cool. I'll take the greed. Keep this on last, by the way. Let's keep anti stalling. I think anti stalling is beneficial for us here. They end up trying to go for a third farm. I wonder if I can send them whites on round 11 to force a boost here. I don't think they're going to be able to afford their um, trap in time. We'll see. They might be able to. Okay, forced a boost. I can re-rush on round 13 and force some stuff. He actually went for a farm. I don't think that's a good play because of this re-rush. We'll see what they do here. They went for the ninja. Is that enough? And they end up defending. Hold on. So they have ninja. I've now seen. Interesting. So that, that makes more sense why they were going full passive then. If they have ninja. Makes a lot more sense. that up. I'll go for round 16 BI, I guess. Got to force the boost there. That's great. I think we're playing this really well right now. Plus, I'm going to be able to re-rush him right here. Okay, he's actually rushing me. Big rush. We'll just save up for a BI later. That was a good rush on his end. I not I shouldn't have sent that round sixteen rush. I now think of it, because that round sixteen rush made it so he could force sell my BIA. If that makes sense, which was kind of bad. Okay. I'll upgrade this at the end of the round. Got up our BIA again, which is nice. They only have one boost, by the way. I 
Um, I'm dead here. I think I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not. Oh, buddy. Oh, and they died. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Round like out. Peace, lads.